Hi, Engineer Channel 30 here, and welcome to my informational video on the newest LEGO Middle Earth sets. So, let us go to LEGO.com, not Wikipedia. Um, I was just on that. Um, to see. So, um, let's type in the one that I hope to get today. Um, Dole Gold Door Ambush. So, this is the one. If I can click it. Um, okay, here we are. Do not Dole Gold Door Ambush, sorry. But, um,. This is Dole Gold Door Ambush, but I want to get Dole Gold Door Battle, but I guess I will show you this. So, this is basically the set, comes with, and by the way, this is not a review, I want to just make that clear right now. This is not a review, if you're looking for a review for me, please come back when I've uploaded the Dole Gold Door Ambush review. This is basically just a review, that I'm talking about. The new sets. So, um, the twenty dollars is the price, roughly. Um, it came out today, along with three other sets. I think it's three other sets. But um, yeah, I plan to get all of them. So, um, let's go to the one that I really want: Dull Gold Door Battle. Basically, because it has three exclusive minifigures. And many figures that I want. So, this is Dol Guldur Battle. It is $69.99 or $70, which it'll probably turn out to be more than that once they add tax. Um, this comes with the Necromancer, Radagast the Brown, and Azog are included in the set which are all three exclusive to this one set. So that is a good one to get. Now let's go to, let's get Lake like Town Chase for last. Um, now Merkwood Elf, did I type that right? Okay, yeah, Elf Army. So, um, this is the set, Merkwood Elf Army, and it, um, it comes with a lot of cool minifigures, but what I'm looking for in the set, maybe a lot of people would like the different colored warg. But what I'm looking for is Thranduil. I don't think, I think that these archers, well, they might have been in the, um, Merkwood Elf poly bag. But that's going to be the first time they appear in the set, I'm pretty sure. Um, Thra but Thranduil is the exclusive minifigure that I'm looking for. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, it's $29.99 more when they add tax, most likely. Let's go to Lake Town Chase. It is my believing, um, I guess, that this was the first of this wave of Hobbit sets to be released. Well, not to be released, but for its existence to be released. For people to say, I want the Lake Town Chase set. The people even say, there is a set coming out called Lake Town Chase. There was no people saying they want a Dolgaldur battle or Dolgaldur ambush at this time, I'm pretty sure. So this comes with, well, let's click that. The, um, the box to show you what minifigures. Bilbo Baggins, Thorin, Oakenshield, Bard, Lake Town Guard, and Master of Lake Town. So, I guess this one is a pretty good one to get, too, because that also comes with three exclusive minifigures. Um, Bard, Lake Town Guard, and the Master of Lake Town. And, I guess, if you're considering, um... Costumes, I'd say Thorin is an exclusive one too, because I'm pretty sure you never see that kind of. You might see the body piece on another minifigure in the Lego universe, but not on Thorin. And 
I don't think on any Middle Earth set either. Someone could, um, you reply, um, maybe Bill Brick09, um, uh, if that is incorrect, but I'm pretty sure it is. So that concludes the, um, the set coming out today portion of this video. Now, let's head to, um, oh, um, yeah, Wikipedia. Let's head to the Lego Wiki. So, I can show you the other, the set, Lord of the Rings sets coming out in 2014. Now, um, Mirror of Gladriel, I'm pretty sure. Now, not much is known about these sets, let me tell you. Bill Brick 9 just emailed me like a few weeks ago about the existence of these sets. But, um, it is shown that it is due to be released in early 2014. It is from the Fellowship of the Ring. And one, one, one second. Okay, I am back. So this is part of the email. For security purposes, of course, only this is shown. Because I'm pretty sure this wouldn't hurt. Um, Bill Brick 09. So, um, here are the sets that the Mirror of Galadriel minifigures, Proto and Plain Shirt, and Galadriel, small mirror, and a statue was included. And, um, in case Bill Virgo 9 or anyone else wants me to say this, all credit to the research of these sets goes to Bill Virgo 9. I just trying to make this thing quick. But this is all, um, or at least mostly, Bill Brick 09's research. So in case anyone wants to know about that, then, yeah. Um, okay. But I'm pretty sure he wouldn't mind me doing something like this. So, back to this. Um, Proto Plain Shirt and Galadriel, small mirror and a statue is included. That retails for $12.99. Amon Hen Ambush. Many figures, two Yurikai, Bormir, and Mary. Small set of steps and the Palantir Tower is included for $25.99. That's probably my least favorite of all of these, um, least favorite of all these sets that are coming out because it has no exclusive minifigures. Um, by the way, I really love this because Gladriel exclusive minifigure one that I would have never thought they'd turn into a minifigure so soon. Um, I mean in reality form. They've already made a Lego version of her in the video game. So, the defense, and I just noticed that that was spelled incorrectly, of Osgiliath. Two orcs, a Gondor knight, and ranger. And Villarico 9, pretty sure... And probably me too, that the ranger is going to end up to be Faramir. 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 Um, small boat and runes are included. Um, okay. Witch King Showdown. Now, this is my favorite of all of these. Because you get the Witch King, you get Eowyn, and you get a Nazgul. Fell Beast. Yeah, though, that's what I really want that set for. Awesome minifigure stuff. Theoden, I, okay, if he's, if he's in different, if he's in a different outfit, then, yeah, I'll take him too. Um, okay, and then the Battle of Minas Tirith. Now, could it have, I, could have been such a pain to make. Um, one of my, uh, well, we're gonna have to be so mad at me for not remembering his name. Denethor, yes. Why couldn't they have put Denethor in the Battle of Minas Tirith? <sighs> Lego, Lego, Lego. Don't get me wrong, you're doing an awesome job with these sets. It's just... 
You could have spent a little bit more time and made a Lego Denethor, but what can I do? So, on um, minifigures, Gandalf, Gondor, Knight, Orc, Troll, and Pippin. Is Pippin spelled wrong? Set has one large gate, ground level, two smaller levels with a small house in the Citadel. Also includes an orc catapult outside the city. And I agree with Villabrick09 completely when he says, how are they going to turn Minas Tirith into a $120 set? <sighs> so, um, I believe that is it. There's the... There are the new sets coming out in 2014 for L LEGO LOTR, and I showed you the sets that uh, came out today, December 1st, 2013. Um, so, I believe this is the end. Make sure to check out all the awesome sets. I really like this wave of Hobbit sets. Um, I Mirkwood Elf Army, I'd say, is my least favorite of them. Just because that it only... Well, it contains some guards that could be obtained in a poly bag. I'm pretty sure. It contains only one exclusive minifigure, and it, only, it contains a different colored warg, but I'm not really interested in that. So, yeah, I, um, except for that, it's awesome. Um, well, I guess the smallness, the smallness of the set, um, for its $30, I believe $30 price. Um, give me a second. Yep, $30 price. So, that, I'd say, um, maybe, well, I will be right back. I, um, let's see, I didn't expect to be doing this when I recorded, but let's find out the exact price per piece of the new set. Okay, I am back, and let's see, I spelled Merkwood wrong. Merc with Elf Army, and let's see the, um, here it is, um, $29.99 and 276 pieces, so let's get out the handy dandy calculator and numlocks on, <laughs> um, divide it by 276. 10.8 cents per piece, so that's not too bad. That I've seen a lot. The earlier Lego Lord of the Rings sets and earlier Hobbit sets were very bad at price per piece. Um, 10.8 cents is pretty good. So let's go to Gold, gold Door Ambush. And knowing the price per piece or not, I intend on buying all these sets. Um, $19.99 divided by 217, 9.2 cents, so this is even better. Yeah, I, um, yeah, this is, I'd say, I think Gold Will Do Ambush is going to be the best in price per piece, but I'm not sure. Um, then, did I do all the others? I, no, Dol, Gul, Dol, Battle, and Lake Town Chase. Dol, Gul, Battle, and 16, 69.99, divided by 700, no, 797, whoa. So, Lego, you're doing, you're giving us great deals on these sets. 8.7 cents, that, that, that's pretty good in my standards. And that's the one I'm going to buy today, hopefully, so yeah. Um, but don't expect a review today. <laughs> I'm not the kind of person who puts it together within an hour and then... Well, I might put it, when I do put it together, I might put it together with an hour, I'm not sure. But the one who just what goes home, puts it all together, 
and then reviews it immediately. I am not that kind of person, sorry. I might be that kind of person sometimes, but not in this case. Town Chase. Let's see. Forty nine ninety nine divided by four hundred and seventy ten point six cents. So Lake Town Chase is okay price for peace walks. So I'd say if you're gonna get if you're going to get a set from the newest wave of Lego the Hobbit, I would say get Dogolder Battle. Because not only does it come with three exclusive minifigures, which are awesome, well, maybe I'll accept the Necromancer, but except that, that's pretty good. Um, not only three exclusive minifigures, but also has a pressure piece ratio of something like 8.2 or something, which is pretty good for LEGO Middle Earth. They have a tendency to make high price per piece sets. So, yeah, I think that is about it. So, thank you very much for watching my video on the Lego the Hobbit sets that have come out. And the um, upcoming Lego LOTR sets. Or Lord of the Rings sets. So, thanks for watching.